Oh, hey, buddy, it's your old pal, Scott, and this is Let's Talk Tabletop. We have a very serious and controversial topic to talk about today. I know we all love the revolutionary technology of 3D printing. Specifically, I'm talking about resin printing. And I am concerned that if we think about this just a little bit and think about it and project it, this may be one of the silent killers of our generation. And that might sound overstated, but by the time you hear the end of my uh, arguments in favor of this stance, you might understand why I'm getting rid of my 3D printer. Let's dive into it. Let's start off by saying that, like many of you, I have always been a big proponent of 3D printing technology and 3D printers for miniatures. It has revolutionized the miniature industry and has taken power back to the people in a lot of ways. And that way you can print whatever you want and you don't rely on the big giant manufacturers to make money. Companies like One Page Rolls have made millions of dollars on selling STLs and things like that. And it's a whole new industry that's done a lot of good, I think. But the problem with it is that there's a lot of untrained people using highly toxic chemicals, potentially contaminating their water supply, contaminating their community, potentially giving their self cancer or horrible allergic reactions to resin. And it's kind of a recipe for disaster. So please leave all your preconceived notions at the door and let's just talk about this. I am not a resin printer hater, and I'm not necessarily a resin printer bro. I'm just trying to philosophically and logically think about this. In human history, there have been a million things that we thought were safe, and we thought, oh, it's, it's going to be fine, and it really wasn't fine. You've got lead makeup in Egypt making people insane, right? Um, you've got the radium girls that were uh, putting the, the glowing paint on the watch dials so that it would glow at night, and they had no idea it was radioactive, and they're sharpening their brushes and, and getting radiation poisoning, and their jaws would rot off and all of that. Horrible, horrible deaths, right? Um, so there's a lot of things that uh, it was a long time that they said smoking was totally fine for you. Oh, cigarettes. Oh, well, you know, my doctor recommends menthol cigarettes when I have a cold. I mean, that is a real ad a real ad from history. And then we know, hey, not so great. Right. Another example is they used asbestos flakes as the snow in the Wizard of Oz. I think we all know asbestos is incredibly, incredibly cancerous. Right. There are umpteen things that we can talk about that we thought were totally fine as a community and as a species. And, oops, nope, come to find out, it gives you horrible death or cancer or whatever. Resin is widely known to be an extremely toxic chemical. I mean, extremely cancerous, carcinogenic and otherwise. And breathing the fumes is horrible for you. Touching it, getting it in your skin is horrible for you. I saw a picture of a guy that uh, accidentally, he was wearing shorts at his desk and spilled some 3D printing resin on his bare leg. And it gave him like third degree burns and a lifelong horrible allergic reaction to resin. And what a lot of people don't know is that a lot of this resin industry and the health effects are not well researched. We know it's a serious carcinogen, but... A lot of people have not really looked into it. If you think about it, resin printing is, what, a decade old at best for commercial use and, and personal use? So a lot of uh, long-term effects have not been researched. And while you could take the route of, oh, it's fine, yeah, you could take that route. But then again, uh, that may not be the right route to take, right? We tend to think that it'll be fine, I'll just adapt, until... 20, 30, 40 years down the road, you don't have hearing, your eyesight is poor, you've got cancer or melanoma or any number of things. It's like the people that use chronic tanning beds. I'm going on a tirade, but I think I've painted the picture for any of you that's open-minded enough to consider this, that we do a lot of risky things as human beings, and we think, it'll be fine. So when you get that drip of resin on your skin, you wipe it off and you go, ah, it'll be fine. When your room smells of resin, you go, eh, it'll be fine. It won't be fine. This is potentially a horrible plague on future, future us. Like, what if in... 
20 years, you see a ton of emphysema or you see a ton of COPD or any of those um, lung related issues or just cancer in general, lung cancer or whatnot. What if we see a ton of those and eventually we go, wait a second, all these people were chronic resin printer users. Oh, man, maybe it won't be fine. Maybe it won't. And if you're willing to take that risk on yourself, then that's fine. I mean, that's, it's your life. You do what you want. But it's occurred to me recently that even though I have gloves when using resin, I wear uh, an appropriate mask when using resin. I wear glasses. I have a fume hood. I have a grow tent for my resin printer and it vents outside and all of that. That is a far safer setup than most people have using resin printers. I've crawled all over Reddit talking about resin printers and things like that. And a lot of people don't wear gloves. A lot of people just deal with the smell. A lot of people don't wear eye protection. A lot of people don't vent it outside. They do it in their garage and let the fumes just gather. And then maybe they open their garage door. That's not the way to do it, people. This is actually a really, really dangerous and uh, silent killer. I really think it's going to be. And I pray in a couple decades that maybe this video had an impact on you and you were either extremely more careful with your resin printer or you stopped using it altogether because I think that will be uh, better for all of us in the long run. And, you know, the resin, the resin um, allergy is like a buildup. Like, let's say you can only take... 100 resin exposure let's just give it an arbitrary rating right and every time you breathe it in you get a plus one every time you get a little on your hand you get a plus 10 every time that uh you know it's ex you're exposed to it it's upping and upping and upping to the point where when you hit 100 you develop a resin allergy like that's what happens that's that's how you develop an allergy to to resin and like that guy that dumped the resin on his legs he reached 100 immediately and not only did it burn through his skin and everything he had to go to the hospital hospitalized and everything and there's some very gory pictures online if you want to go look at that nothing i can show here on youtube and you probably don't want to see it but he now has a lifelong allergy to resin i have a local friend that um is huge into resin printing does beautiful work he's got whole armies that are printed you have no no idea that they're actually resin printed he does an excellent job at it and he said that he's noticed he started getting a scratchy throat when he goes in his garage where his 3D printer is. Or when he's around the resin, he starts getting a scratchy throat and like some flu-like symptoms. And he realized that he's becoming allergic to resin. And when you're allergic to resin, you're allergic to resin for life. And it could be life-threatening if it gets bad enough. So while I'm not against at all the use of 3D printers, while I'm not against at all you having a 3D printer... I'm so happy for the liberation of the players, right? That we can have whatever miniatures we want. But you may either want to really up your safety standards, really up them high, or just get rid of it all together and hire some professional, which to be honest with you, I know several professional resin printers and their safety is atrocious. It really is. I went down in one of my friend's basements who has like six resin printers you cannot breathe. That air, you cannot breathe. And he goes, oh, well, it's low vac. You know, it's it doesn't smell that bad. I got the low odor. I'm like, but low odor or no odor does not mean no cancer. Like, that doesn't mean that, right? You know, natural gas has no smell. You know, the, the um, heating and, and cooking gas that we use in a lot of homes, it has no smell. But you know it's incredibly dangerous and it's explosive, right? So you would never know if you have a uh, gas leak, except for the fact that they add sulfur or something like that to give it a smell. They actually flavor your natural gas so that you do smell it in case there's a gas leak. Another thing that nobody seems to be thinking about is that, yes, there's water-soluble uh, resin, right? Water-washable resin. But... The vast majority of water treatment centers, in the U.S. at least, have no way to get rid of resin out of the water system. And we've already discussed how poisonous it is and carcinogenic. Um, I actually went to my local uh, water treatment plant as a field trip with the kids, and they said there's a lot of chemicals they can't filter out. So you got to be careful what you pour down your sink, because then it gets 
cleaned, bleached, refined, and put back in your drinking water that you drink out of your sink. So it's really dangerous. You could be potentially, if you're pouring it in your yard or you're pouring it down the drain or anything like that, rinsing your tools or whatever, you're going to have problems down the line and you could be poisoning your entire community. So I know a lot of you are hardcore printer bros and I get it. I love printers too. But as for me in my house, I think I'm going to cut the risk of cancer for myself and I think I'm just going to get rid of it because to be honest with you, there's so much competition from these reckless or otherwise printers, professional printers, that they are extremely affordable. Extremely. I mean, you can get models for $2 a piece, and you can get whatever you want and scale them and everything else. So that is the realization that I came to. And uh, I strongly suggest that you follow my lead or be extremely careful about how you handle, you are exposed to, or you dispose of any of your resin or resin-related waste. Because you could be poisoning the future for yourself, or for your family, or for your neighborhood. So, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, this is a very not-researched topic. Um, as much as I searched, you really can't find much on it. And that's a shame, because I think we're slowly killing people. I, I, re I truly do. And I'm not trying to be hyperbolic, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but... If I had said this 70 years ago about cigarettes, there would be a million people that said, what? I'd smoke menthols when I have a cold. That clears up my sinuses. What are you talking about? I, I'd smoke every night at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, And, and then, then they died of lung cancer. Thank you to my beautiful, sexy, good-smelling Patreon patrons. Thank you all so much. And the Pepper family is a new one. Thank you so much for supporting my show. And this is out of love and kindness. This is not out of hate for the resin printing industry. So don't get me wrong. Anyway, be safe out there and try to look forward to your future. I'll see you next week.